Hello, I am Keisha and this is Gabby and we are from the glamorous life of a French housewife. We are linking up today with Haley's World and Stroller Adventures for the Let's Talk vlog series. Now today we're talking all about movies and I absolutely adore movies. I am a huge movie buff. I do a Monday movie review every week on my blog. Um, my TV bill is insane um, because I watch so many movies. I love movies. And this is a great question for me. So there's a whole bunch of questions and then I'll kind of fill in a little bit um, after I'm done. Favorite all-time movie? That is a really hard one. I would used to say Rocky Five because I love all the Rocky movies and the Russian one is my favorite. But really my favorite movie is either going to be Spy Game with um, Brad Pitt or Pride and Prejudice, and I know that's a really big difference, but those are my two favorites. I love Pride and Prejudice. I could watch it a million times. Um, the one with Kiara Knightley is my favorite, um, and Spy Game is just amazing. Favorite kind of movies? Oh, gosh, it's really hard for me to pick that because I love romance, and I love... Um, spy movies and I love drama, but I would have to say my absolute favorite would probably be a spy movie. I can't help it. I guess I'm a top secret agent or undercover or something. Um, funniest movie ever. That's kind of hard for me to pick from, but I would have to say, I don't know about ever, but I really like The Hangover and I seem to laugh a lot watching that movie. And it's I, I'm sure later when I'm looking back at this video, I'm going to say, no, there's another funnier movie. I'm sure there is, but I really like The Hangover for a good laugh, and not The Hangover 2. The first one's better. One you could watch over and over again. That would probably be Marie Antoinette or Pride and Prejudice, because I know them so well, and um, I really just like time period movies. I also like The Young Victoria. That's one of my favorites too and I could watch that a million times. Favorite actor or actress? Mm, I got a lot of them. I like Keira Knightley. Um, I like um, Catherine Zeta-Jones. I like Mark Wahlberg and I'm thinking of that new movie they got out. Um, I just like all kinds of them. I like of course Brad Pitt but he ain't been in the movie forever. Um, what else? Other actors and actresses that I really like. I'd have to look at my movies to figure that out. Um, I'm going blank here, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, celebrity doppelganger, if I say that right. Um, for me, people have said that for a long time when my hair was darker that I looked like Katie Holmes. But that woman is like six feet taller than I am. So I'm not really sure that I look like Katie Holmes, but that's who people would say... Um, a long time ago. Um, and more about the movies. I have a gigantic movie collection. I have three DVRs that are completely filled up, plus a massive amount of CDs. Um, ben Affleck is another one of my favorites. I'm sorry, that just came to mind. Um, and he hasn't always been a favorite, but I do like him a lot. Um, and I like some of Tom Cruise movies, too. Anyway, I got a huge collection. I love movies. Um, I, I stay at home all day, breed cats, take care of the kids, and watch movies while I'm, like, cleaning the house or whatever, and, um, yeah, I love them. And we recently, the last movie we went to see was the Zero Dark Thirty about catching Bin Laden, and Jessica Chastain blew it away. I, I didn't read, like, when we go to see a new movie, I will not read reviews on it, because it will mess my head up on what I think, and it'll give me some preconceived notion of how the movie's going to be, so I stay away from movie reviews um, for the movies that I'm going to go see at the movie theater, so it doesn't mess it up for me. I had no idea exactly, I mean, I knew that Bin Laden was the storyline, and I knew capturing him was the storyline, but I didn't know the story, really the story of this movie. So when we sat there and watched this basically, basically three-hour movie, which was long, I didn't realize the part that Je Jessica Chastain played, and she was amazing. It was a great movie. Her role was um, Maya as a Secret Service, um, a CIA 
operative who spent most of her adult life at that point catching Bin Laden and she was hell on wheels to compete with. She would not give up. She was amazing and that was a great, great movie. Um, I'm trying to think the movie we saw before that, but I don't remember. I love movies, you guys. Um, you can always check out my movie reviews on Monday at my blog at kjaggers.com. I love them. I love them. I love them. They take you away for a few hours and give you a time to relax and, you know, take you to a different world. They can take you wherever you want them to take you. Um, and I love them. So let me grab Gabby real quick. And we will tell you guys goodbye. This is one of my Persians. She is a doll face. You can see that she's not all smashed up like Romeo. And she is pregnant. So we are extremely happy. And um, I plan on doing a video. I'm sorry this is off topic about how to tell when your cat's pregnant. I get a ton of questions about that. So come back and check that video out. Plus I have a lot more videos coming up over the weekend. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, you guys.